Okay guys, in this video, we'll fix the issue, error copying files or the folder. So you might be getting this error message in your laptop. So we'll fix this one by one. We'll go through the different solution. One the either solution will definitely help you. The very, very first solution for this issue, if you're getting the error for this particular drive, whether it is an internal or external, Give a right click on it and then you're going to click on format. Finally, we'll be selecting over here FAT32 default and then click on start to format. OK. It's done. Now you're going to use your drive. It should be working fine and you can copy the files otherwise proceed to the next solution so sometimes you'll be getting this error because you will not have a free space in your drive so you can free up the space and start copying the files so the next solution that you can try is give a right click on it click on properties and then we'll go to tools We'll check and then we're going to click on check. So we check this, a scan and repair the drive. So what it does is this option will check the drive for the system error. Even you can optimize the drive, it will help run it effectively. So click on optimize, select the drive. So you don't have an option to optimize for this drive. In case the error is with other drives, internal drives do have option to optimize and external drive don't have option to optimize, so leave it. In case the error is with the other drive, you can optimize it. So what it does it, it will help run your device more effectively. Still the issue persists, proceed to the next solution. So what we do in the next solution is, we go to the search, type CMD, give a right click on it and run as an administrator. You can ask for the permission, we can click on yes. Finally, here we have a command prompt. In a command prompt, we are going to type dex part and press enter key. Here we are going to type list volume. Now we are going to identify the drive which exactly we have the problem. So there was the problem with the external drive SD card. So it is drive D. Volume number is volume 4. So the next command is select volume 4. So you might be different from 4. Sorry, here it is. Volume 4. It's a SD card. So you might be different from 4. You're going to recognize it and you're going to use that one. Volume 4 is a selected volume. So you're going to type the command attributes a t t r i b u t e s disk clear read only and press enter key so you can see disk attribute cleared successfully so now what we have done is we have removed now you can exit it so we have removed the copyright sorry uh, read only so if the disk is write protected we have removed the write protected. Now you can copy the files easily into this drive. Sometimes it is a decryption error. So if your file is encrypted, you have to decrypt it. There is no other option. In case your device is corrupted, what you can do is once again, if you feel like if you get any kind of error, like your device is corrupted, unable to copy files. You can give a one try is 
you can go to format and format it. In case if you get the error message like it is, it is corrupted, you can do this one. So if it is a pen drive, external drive, you always choose the FAT32. If your, it is an internal drive, you always choose NTFS. It's NTFS should be default. Always choose the default option. So sometimes what happens is when you go to copy some files, you feel like you don't have a permission to copy those files and folder. So what you're going to do is give a right click on that files and folders and go to the properties and then you'll go to security. Finally, so you have a different number of OS for system, for different user. So make sure which user right now you are using the, uh, sorry, uh, your computer is logged on with a, which particular user. So how are you going to check that? So the very easy to figure out. So very in the very beginning when you log in into your PC, either you log in with the administrator user or call or system. So the number of users you will have over here if you have a multiple number of users in your system. So while trying to log in into your PC, whichever user you have logged in. Suppose the permission is registered. Currently you are logged in your system with the username system. Now permission is denied for that particular user. Now you are trying to copy those files and folder. You cannot copy those files and folder into another place. So what you are going to do is you are going to select that particular user. Click on edit and then you are going to have to allow the permissions. So one by one you are going to have to uncheck all the box. So all the permission were denied for it. So I have unchecked all the box. So no permission is denied. Finally click on apply and then click on OK. So you can see no deny permissions. All the permissions are allowed. And now I can copy the files from here to some other place. So if I want to copy paste over here, I can easily paste over here. So it's very easy way. If permission is denied, you just have to allow the permissions in order to copy the files into another place, files or the folders. In this step, you're going to use the different port. Your PC has a number of USB port. You can see here I have a USB port, couple of USB port I have on the other side of the laptop. Try to use the different USB port if you are getting this error from USB port. So using the different USB port might fix your this issue. Search and you're going to type CMD and you're going to see this command prompt you're going to run as an administrator. So when you run this command prompt as an administrator, you're going to, you're going to have an option to choose whether yes or no. So you're going to choose yes for this. So always choose uh, yes so that you can open it as an administrator. Now you have opened the command from page and administrator. What you're going to do is you're going to run a couple of commands over here. If you run those commands, uh, so this is the very first command that you're going to run. Even I've left it in the comment section down below. You're going to check over there. Sorry, uh, in a description, uh, not in the comment section. You're going to check it in a description. It is like uh, dism.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health and then press enter key so it will restore your PC health so this might fix this issue so it's gonna take time uh, to check it and finish it so let it finish and then you can check if the issue is gone if it uh, gonna ask you to restart PC you're gonna restart the PC and your issue should be gone if it's still the issue exists you can proceed to the next step so if this do not fix the issue, you're going to run one more command, sfc slash scan now. So this will scan your PC. Scanning going to take some time. So let it finish. And then after we proceed to the next step. So no violation found, 100% completed. So doing all this should fix the issue, still the issue exists, proceed to the next step. Start your PC in a set mode, at first you are going to type reset, click on reset the PC and this will open this window. As soon as you see this, you are going to see here you have an option to restart now, so click on restart now. 
you're going to see this pop up click on restart now now here you're going to click on troubleshoot a startup setting and in order to go to your PC in a safe mode you can see enable safe mode at first you have to restart the PC again so you're going to restart the PC exactly from this place now here you have a number of options to choose so you're going to see here at the bottom you have a message press enter to return to the operating system or you can press the number to choose from the options you can use the key or a function key f1 to f9 so for number one you're going to use f1 for number nine you're going to use f9 respectively so enable safe mode is in the number four so i'm going to use f4 key in my keyboard so as soon as you press f4 key now it is going to boot the pc in a safe mode now i can log in into my pc now my pc is in a safe mode so let's say i had a problem with my usb so flash drive or whatever drive in a pc now i'm going to use those drive in a safe mode and it should be working fine now you can access your device external device all the device that you have attached to your PC through the USB port or some other port, now you can access it in a safe mode. You must be able to access it in a safe mode.